All right, is everybody seeing? Well, I can't. Let me a thumbs up if you see my screen. You should see the presentation. Cool. All right, put that over there. Let me make sure I have the right audio. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to start with just kind of centering us in. <clears throat> The, the whole purpose of this training program. Um, and as I see it, the original pro purpose of the Enneagram itself, um, which is essence. So, you know, most of us know the Enneagram and most of us, um, most people these days know the Enneagram as a personality system, um, a modality for typing personalities and understanding personality traits. And really, um, the way I see it is that it's a model for essence. And um, it actually, that is the original purpose of the Enneagram going back to the, the being that um, first um, began to conceive it, this Russian mystic named Gurdjieff. He was really looking for um, a model for like um, tapping in and connecting to our sacred um, shared being, our sacred consciousness. and. Um, so he was looking for a model of essence, a model of the sacred and the personality components of it came later when he brought it to the West and began to partner with Oscar Chazo. Um, so actually it's, it's the fundamental way that I see the Enneagram now. Um, it's the whole purpose of my program is to help other people see it this way. And um, it was the original purpose of it. Um, so I love that it has grown so much since I first learned about it. Um, and also in that growth, it's really been the personality types that um, has developed and grown and evolved. And somewhere along the line, the essence I think has gotten kind of washed out of it to an extent. And um, I love this metaphor of, of the ocean and the waves. So the personality is like the waves of the ocean, but essence is the ocean. So the, and we know so much about the personality types and the nuances of these waves, but what we don't really know, like in a deep felt way, is what the waves are made out of, where they come from, why they're here to begin with, and where they return back into, which is all essence. So it's really the fundamental, um, the, the fundamental thing for me is essence. And it's um, how I see this model. It's how I see the Enneagram in myself and in others. And that's what this program is all about to help you get to that place of that's the fundamental thing that you see with the Enneagram. And we know the personality as these waves that come um, from essence. Um, so we are like the waves in the ocean, each with a unique character and quality on the surface, but deep down we are eternally connected to one another and to the ocean as a whole. If you practice looking beyond the surface of the appearances, you will begin to see the true being that lies within each form. And the key word here is practice. So this program is all about practice um, because uh, practice it like when you're, feeling it when you're understanding essence, you need to know it from the three centers. It's not enough to know it conceptually. Um, I've learned that from time of when I first started uncovering this way of looking at the Enneagram and I wanted to share it and I was super excited and people were super excited to learn about it. Um, I, I went out and I shared it in, in workshops and people loved it and they took it in, but really just sharing the information isn't enough I've found is it really came into to be something that I know more deeply through my own practice with it. And so this program is practice based because it includes the heart center and the gut center and and knowing about essence. Um, let's see how do I change that. So the whole point of this is to teach essence through somatic, which means body, sensory based practices. Um, it's a hundred hour program. It's 50 weeks long. So it's one year from this April to next March. It's an accredited um, program by the International Enneagram Association. And so the program is accredited. I'm accredited as a facilitator and our school just got accreditation, which is exciting for us, which gives um, us and our students some extra perks. Um, so there's these different tiers of accreditation through that body. And 
if you're someone who wants to get accredited yourself, um, that would be, I'd be happy for those of us that want to get accredited to have like a separate meeting because it's a little daunting to go through on their site, how that all works, but I can walk you through um, all of that. It is 100% virtual, so it'll all be online. The only thing would be um, if you all wanted to do any of your individual meetings with me in person, that could be a possibility um, if you're in the area or if you're if you're wanting to visit Asheville, because it's going to be some great months here. Um, so it'll be a weekly two hour live Zoom class on Wednesdays. And then you'll have uh, three individual sessions with me throughout the program. That's just one on one with me, the beginning, the middle and the ending. And then there's this um, new component of a monthly essence box delivered to your home. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, all the materials and teachings, not only will it be Zoom, but there's um, a platform called Teachable that I'm going to have everything really organized and intuitive, broken down into modules. And so you'll be able to, to lo log in and see all the material, all the PowerPoints um, or whatever we call the slides. And um, after we do the Wednesday meetings, they'll be recorded and loaded up to, to the appropriate weeks. So if you miss a week, you'll be able to get on there. Um, I'll, I'll should load everything on the Thursday after our class and you'll have some time to get on there and catch yourself up with the trainings before we meet the next time. And there's gonna be a, a community forum that I think will be on Teachable. Um, I'm not sure about that yet. I'm still learning if how to use theirs, but some, some social platform that we agree upon will be um, a community forum for us to interact and uh, in between our sessions. So what you're gonna get out of this program is a specialist certification in Enneagram Essence Embodiment from our school, the Enneagram School of Awakening. Um, our school uh, recognizes this as a specialist certification because it's so focused on essence and our other programs are more generalist and more comprehensive in terms of just coming in as a beginner not knowing much about the Enneagram at all and um, going through the process of going from there to being able to, by the end of those programs, teach or I feel like you have a good sense of the, the basics of the Enneagram for sure. Um, and this one is so deeply focused on essence. So we, we're calling it specialist, but the Enneagram, the International Enneagram Association considers this program both specialist and comprehensive because we are gonna go through the personality types and traits um, it's just that we keep it all focused on, on essence and why and their deep relationship to essence. Um, so you don't need another certification to maybe bring this into your practice. Um, you get 120 points of, towards becoming an um, accredited professional. Um, you get an extra 20 bonus points because we're an accredited school. You can get 100 CEUs if you are a licensed um, practitioner of any kind depends on your licensure board. Um, I've had a lot of LCSWs get 100 CEUs from my training programs because I'm an LCSW, um, but also like massage therapists, dietitians, um, all kinds of disciplines can get 100 CEUs from this. And then of course the um, profound techniques for psycho-spiritual healing and awakening. Um, you're gonna learn this both through my teachings, but really through the direct practice that you know journey that you're gonna go on with um, embodying and integrating these techniques. Let's see where I'm at with time. Okay, um, I'll try to move a little quicker. So I've um, grouped the, the teaching into 17 modules, which is really organized on the um, teachable site. And they are anywhere from one to four weeks, but most of the modules are the personality types. So each type is a module. So there's nine of those. And those are um, these sort of four week cycles. And so most of the modules will look like this typical outline here, um, a cycle of the first week being an introduction to the essence of the type. And this is sort of the beginning sort of threshold here um, of moving into the four week rhythm. And it's really more of a ceremonial kind of initiation um, that will do that first week 
um, bringing us into the sacred qualities and kind of calling upon those sacred qualities to begin this journey of um, igniting and initiating and um, um, awakening in our being. In the second week, we'll go into the a teaching on the patterns and the traits of the personality types, um, the way that they seek and imitate essence. So it always goes back to essence. Um, this is where you'll get some, uh, some more training and understanding on the nuances of the personalities. Um, then the fourth week, uh, sorry, the third week, we'll have, we'll watch a video of me interviewing someone with a type. Um, and it's going to be a very carefully designed interview where we are um, really emphasizing essence. So I'm going to be interviewing them, people that I feel kind of radiate or the essence shines through them more and I'll be structuring the interview to help kind of bring out um, those qualities and get them talking about essence more than just the type, even though we'll see some of that. And then we'll come full circle around to the fourth week where we will really reconnect more deeply with essence and learn um, real specific gateways for how to release the personality traits um, and feel the nourishment of the essence even more. Each class will be designed pretty similarly, similarly. Pretty much every class will be the first part of the class, about 40 minutes of teaching with slides and videos. And after we do our, our q and I'm gonna do a, a little taste of that. I'll do a little teaching about essence and a little guided practice at the end of today. Um, <clears throat> so you get to see what that will be like, a little taste. And then we'll do about an hour of an open discussion. And depending on, um, depending on, how many people we have, um, how many talkative people we have, that might just be a really open flow of a back and forth dialogue. It'll probably evolve over time as we get to know each other. Um, and, and I also might use some prompts to kind of draw us out more. And then each uh, class will end with a 20 minute guided practice and you'll get a little taste of what that will be like at the end of this. I don't have a lot of time to go into the essence box. I think I'm gonna do a video soon of me really, I'd love to just like unpack one of the boxes and show it to you because it's really um, what I'm enjoying right now is putting these together. Um, but they're, they're these handcrafted um, boxes that I'm putting together. My kiddos are helping me. I've got a couple homeschooled kiddos and um, they're little artists. And so they're helping create some of the ingredients like um, these beautiful dyed, silk um, handkerchiefs that have the, the colors of the types. And um, so it's basically sensory boxes um, filled with scent and taste teas and um, audio. So it's to, designed to visual to bring in all of our senses because when I do these trainings in person, it's very sensorial. Like we do tea ceremonies and we do sound healing baths and we play with essential oils and there's always something very sensory based. So thinking about doing this virtually, I got really excited when I realized, oh, I could do, I could send you a box and it could be something that we work through in our week one of those four week rotations where we, we work with the box and we can all have a similar shared sensory experience, um, really designed to feel the qualities of each essence. So anyways, I'm really excited about that, but I don't wanna go spend too much time today. You can read about me um, on the, on my the bio on the site. The only thing I want to touch on tonight is um, just my my background with the Enneagram. I started studying it around 2000 um, when I was only 20 years old. And um, my first teacher was my mother. She was the one that brought it to me. And I just have a special connection to the Enneagram through her because she actually studied with Oscar Echazo. If you don't know who he is, Google him. He's like the father of the Western father of the Enneagram. She was in his original Eureka school back in the 1990s when I was a teenager. So I just have this sort of con special connection to that lineage. And um, I'm, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's really cool to hear her stories about what it was like to be in the Eureka school. And, um, and then beyond that, I've had two decades of um, studying with other renowned teachers. So my experience with the Enneagram. Uh, right now, there's a special, an early bird special until March 15th, 20% off the program. The last day to enroll will be March 31st. Um, and I, I just decided to cap the program at 10 seats um, because that feels like the right number for me right now for um, sending out the essence boxes and trying this all virtual. Um, 
So if you know that you are interested, if you know that you're ready, go ahead and register because um, it might they might fill up before March 31st and then we'll just stop registration whenever they fill up. Um, and you can confirm your seat two ways. I know some of you are like, I know one of you is definitely on board for this, but you still need to confirm your seat by um, scheduling on the system. There's a schedule button and you can sign up, uh, find the, um, the drop down that says like weekly essence training. And then you'll see there's like a hundred um, dates that will pull up. You need to register, you need to schedule through there. And then you also need to put in your payment information through the registration button. So there's two steps to confirming your seat. Okay. I am going. The time I have set right now is five to seven Eastern time PM. Okay. I'm not totally rigid on that, but um, it really depends on how many people are interested but are not able to attend that time slot. Um, something that I have discussed with some people, but. Okay. Um, the IEA points that you get from the program is 120. You get 120 because our, we are an accredited school. So any training that we do, you get a bonus 20 points for training with us. The hours is that it's 100 hours. So the CEUs is different. That's like if you have some other professional license, mm -hmm. some kind or some, any kind of, there's so many different licenses, you can okay. get 100 CEUs. So those are two different things. Okay. need 250 points total mm -hmm. I'll be happy to do like a really in-depth meeting for those of you that want to do that um yeah. you have to have a minimum of a hundred of those points come from an IEA accredited program hours so that you're getting that that minimum and then there's other ways that you can get points um through going to a conference or studying with somebody that's not IEA accredited but they have a minimum of a hundred there I mean, I think that'll be individualized. Okay. If I mean, you don't know the types at all, then I would suggest doing something like my Unimi course. That's just like the basics. And I, I'll give that to anybody that signs up. It's just, a, it's a six hour um, fully online course, um, asynchronous. Um, if you know the basics of the types, you don't need to prepare in that way. You're just gonna be learning the types from a different lens, a different perspective as part of the program. What I will recommend to everyone is um, I'll have a couple of required readings, which actually mostly won't be Enneagram books. They won't be required, they'll be recommended, sorry. Um, and they will be more about um, uh, like more about somatic experiencing, more about, you know, what the way that this de is designed and the practices that I'm bringing to this Enneagram model. Um, and yeah, okay. so. Great. It's the, the only accreditation body. So they oversee all accredit, like they accredit the programs. You can get a certification. There's lots of programs, lots of Enneagram certification programs, um, mm -hmm. but not all of them are credited through them. And you won't be able to get those minimum hours um, unless you take a, a certification program through a program that's accredited by them. So it's, you know, people have programs and do what they want with the Enneagram in that way. But they, these folks are some of the original kind of teachers of the Enneagram and they got together like many. I don't know, maybe a decade ago and said like, we need to have some kind of a quality assurance uh, system for, for how much Enneagram teachings are coming out. And so um, if you were gonna integrate it in your work or become a teacher of some kind, I think it's valuable to say like, I'm accredited by the IEA. They're also the body that puts on all the international conferences. Um, so there, you can look up their website, International Enneagram Association. And also when you get accredited from them, they put your name under um, as, as a teacher that's accredited and so forth. Okay. Okay, um, Tom Condon, Eli Jackson Bear, um, a little bit with Sandra Maitre. 
there's a couple teachers in, out of France that most people don't know about that um, I've studied with. Um, and then, you know, I went to conferences where I took lots of workshops with lots of different teachers, but those are the primary ones. So Tom Condon and Eli Jackson Bear um, are some of my favorites. I wouldn't say, I, I mean, I, I've studied a lot with Riso Hudson. Hudson is the only one left now with that, but um, not directly with them other than seeing them in a big workshop, in a big conference. Um, yeah, and I love Almas, but that's more of just a dense book that you have to read a few times to get anything. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a yoga teacher in, in our program that's ending right now out of Ithaca, New York, and she's like already bringing it into this yoga farm thing that she runs and um, yeah. yeah, and she she could probably share more about it Okay, with me if I asked her. Mm -hmm. And one of our teachers is a yoga um, in our school, Allie, she's a yoga teacher and she's like, um, coming up with post yoga postures for each type and some really cool stuff. That's fun. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I don't, I sort of hesitate to call it advanced. Um, yeah. But I, but it's definitely a specialist and it's not meant okay. for beginners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, it's a process of, um, it's, it's like we're inviting sacred energies to come and it's not like we're learning about the essence of each type. And then when we get to our primary type, we're like, okay, this is all about me right now. And then otherwise we're learning about other people's essences. It's like, this is looking at the Enneagram, pulling back and looking at it more as a whole um, just like we have all three centers, right? It's, it's not like when we're doing the head center, that's when you pay attention. And when you're doing the heart and the body, you check out because that's not your center or it's not as important. It's like we all have a heart center and a gut center and a head center. They're all really essential and maybe even more essential when we're doing a center that's not where we're fixated in our type. So it's the same thing with the types. They all have these essential qualities that um, have a certain flavor and a certain ability to nourish us. And so we're, it's like, we're going on a journey to really activate all of these qualities, the essence of the centers and the essence of the types. And, um, it's not, it's not going to be like a rigid, you know, check the box when you've, you know, here's your homework and I'm going to check it or something like that. But it is going to be a, a very loving invitation to, to practice in between our sessions. And, um, there'll be, different things to just to remind you of that we're sort of on this journey with this essence and that's what the boxes are for so though like if there's a uh, these goddess cards that i've made that represent the energies of each type and so i would invite you to like have that maybe on your mirror or next to your workstation or wherever somewhere to kind of keep it alive in your even in just in your subconscious and um, drink the teas and feel the oil, smell the oils. And so we're sort of trying to keep it alive in us in between the sessions so that it's not just something we're learning cognitively and then kind of forgetting about and then coming back to the next week. It's like this journey of like activating it so that when we say um, like for one of like say radiant beauty for the type four or um, it, it's like, when you say that after you've been like seeping it, like bathing in it for a little while on a, in a program like this, it's like you, you have an experience in your being. It's not like, oh yeah, that goes with type four. And it's like this, when I have this kind of experience, it's like, it becomes more palpable and more immediate your experience of it. And so it takes practice to be able to, to just to say the essence and then feel it. And it's already like with you and it's not um, something you have to like think yourself through to experience. So that takes practice. We're free flowing, but it could be, and that's what the individual sessions will be for, is to help you individualize your track with it. So it may be that um, like we'll start in the beginning 
<laughs> with an hour session to kind of like figure out what's going to work best for you. And it might be that um, what works best for you is a set time that you sit down with it. And, and you, or you might be someone who is more of like trying to hold it in your awareness all the time. And it's not about sitting with it in a, in a specific time. It just depends. It'll be individualized. On the school site, but the okay. link, if you go to the school site, you should see many links to it. And then there'll be a link in the event and on the program section that leads you to the um, to my site, which is the Essence Certification. And then from there, there's lots of register buttons. And find the schedule tab at the top to get to sign up for all the dates and that way you'll get email reminders and okay, okay. so um to bring us back again um this idea of the enneagram being a model facets of unity and i love this idea of um this visual of it being like a prism or like a crystal that has um let's say nine facets so if you had, let's say a quartz crystal that um, has these, it's like one clear crystal, but it has these nine facets on it. And so you're looking at one being, one, one form of consciousness, right? But if you look in to each facet on this one um, piece of, of beautiful crystal, you have a different flavor in each one. So you're, you're, the essence of each type, it's like looking into the sacred through a different lens. You're looking at the same thing. You're looking at our sacred being, you're looking at consciousness, but it has this flavor depending on which angle you look in. If you look into like a diamond or crystal and you see maybe different shades of it, it's a different experience as you look in. And this is what it's like to go through the essence of each type. It's like this, the experience is just as sacred from each facet. And yet mysteriously, it is it has its own flavor, its own quality that is um, somehow different from the other. Um, so we, we talk a lot about uh, all the components of the Enneagram having a spectrum. And that's another way to look at this personality essence is like it's a spectrum and on the personality side of the spectrum, we have all the behaviors and beliefs and feelings that form to seek and imitate essence. And these are all on some level stressful. They're on some level stressed out. They're defensive and they're desperate and they're also unconscious. Um, <clears throat> and if you move to the other side of the spectrum, we have essence, which is our unconditioned nature. The, the essence is our facet of unity and our portal to the sacred. We talk a lot about energetics in our school. And what we basically mean by the word energetics is like patterns of energy that produce a certain quality and or a movement. So there's all these different categories in the Enneagram and each of these categories has a spectrum of qualities. Um, there's the nine personality types and there's the nine type of essence. There's the three centers, um, which can be experienced um, through like as a fixation, as a personality kind of tightness. And then it can also be experienced as an essence. And that's what our guided meditation tonight will be is moving through our three centers and beginning to experience there's the sacred essence of them. There's three uh, orientations, which is the externalized, internalized and um, middle core type. So in each session, uh, in each center, we have an orientation outward, an orientation inward, and those of us that sit kind of on the edge, on the threshold between the two. And those also have a certain spectrum of qualities from um, like, let's say a two is a, an, or, an outward oriented um, type. And it can, this outward orientation can feel fixated and stressed out like the personality does or it can also have a beautiful sacred nature to it as it moves out in an, a loving embracing kind of energy. And then we have the three subtypes and we're gonna go into these categories through the training and talk about this spectrum of qualities, the subtypes, self-preservation, social, 
sexual or intimate can come from a place of personality, of tightness, of fixation, and also a place of sacred essence. So every category to me has an essential nature to it. Uh, we talk a lot about embodiment, which simply is our somatic body, sensory-based experience and, and expression. And um, we're always embodying either an expression of personality or essence. So our experience inside of our being, our sensory, our nervous system is experiencing a personality and or our essential nature. And the personality feels, it has a malnourished, stressed feeling to it. And its expression is of seeking and imitating. And um, even if we're talking about the positive qualities of the personality, let's say a seven that is talking about, uh, is experiencing um, an exciting journey or something really fun and exciting, it might seem like, well, that seems positive. But if it's coming from a place of personality, if we looked at it closely, if we looked at it, the nervous system, we would find stress in that being. We would find a certain level of malnourishment. So it might look positive, but if we were to like maybe test the hormones in the system at that moment, we would find stress hormones. When we are embodying essence, there is a feeling of um, being nourished and the expression is of these universal qualities of the sacred. And the guided meditation will, that I'm gonna do with you all will hopefully give you that flavor of being nourished coming from essence, at least the beginning of it. So we're gonna go into the essence of the three centers, head, heart, and body. These are three centers of sacred experience from the um, perspective of essence. So we have this wisdom center, which is the head, and the sacred qualities of the wisdom center are uh, wisdom. This is a quiet kind of wisdom um, beyond information, a kind of a knowing that um, is much deeper than what our minds can hold or rem remember or retain. It's a knowing that's deep in our being, deep in our soul. The um, wisdom center, the head center is a visionary kind of quality, an emergent kind of quality. There's a sense of the eternal, which is really the sacred experience of time, right? So in this, in this center, we have this sense of like, it's connected to the quality of like, of what is emerging, of visualizing what's next, but also seeing what came before, this sort of endless eternal experience of time. There's also uh, has a sacred connection to trust and there's um, an energy in the head center that is blissful, is joyful in its essence. In its personality, it's called fear. In the contraction, it's called fear. In its essence, it's called bliss or joy. Moving down into our love center, our heart center. This is our sacred realm of love, devotion, radiant beauty, there's a full quality here. Whereas the head is spacious and empty, there's a full quality in our heart center. Embracing love, loving embrace, um, divine value and radiant beauty. I'm gonna guide you through a sensory experience of this next. And then we move down into our gut, right? So this is below our belly button, but it's not just this um, small space below our belly button that we call our gut. This is our root center. Our power center is our gut, but it's also our backbone, down into our tailbone, down through our root, through our hips, all the way down our legs and our feet. It's like all the lower half of our body and the roots that go down. Um, the sacred quality here is a power, divine power. It's an innocent power, being, this is our sense, our shared being here, the infinite. Um, it has a connection to sacred harmony, integrity. Innocence is really important for this center and um, our connection or a portal to potentiality. So it's like that. The energy is like this kind of um, big 
uh, powerful energy like you might imagine right before the Big Bang, kind of this big, full, like uh, energy of anything is, is, is possible. So um, I'm gonna do a guided meditation with us. And for these, so yeah, we probably have time to finish it, but I might go over because I don't wanna rush through it. Um, so feel free to jump off when you need to jump off. And um, I'm happy to send you a recording if you, if you aren't able to experience the full meditation. Um, and I invite you to turn your cameras off. I can't see where I'm, what I'm looking at. I can't see your cameras. So if, you're, if your camera's still on, I invite you to turn it off for this, just because, um, so stay on, but turn your, your video off because it's better for you to just be natural and not have to think about whether you are being looked at um, through your computer. I'm also gonna turn my camera off so that what you'll see is just um, on the screen, there is um, gonna be a, a video that will have some singing bowls playing in it and also um, some uh, footage of just some scenes that will go with each center. But really, I invite you to close your eyes and get comfortable. Um, I, how, whatever works best for you, if, it, if you feel more connected and can stay attuned more by keeping your eyes open, you can and just watch the video that I have playing. Um, but you might want to try closing your eyes and really sinking in. And um, at, at the end of this, that'll be the end and I'll turn the presentation off and say goodbye to you all and feel free to reconnect with me outside of this um, meeting if you want afterwards. So turn your, your cameras off, close your eyes if you feel drawn to do that, settle in and I'm going to guide us through the sacred essence of our three centers, just to begin to open that up. So just start with beginning to pull your attention into your being, into your, your body. And starting with the top of your head, you can just gently, gracefully scan through your body, just to begin to pull that awareness in. And oh, actually, I'm going to turn my camera off if I can. Well, I'll, I'm not going to worry about it because I, I don't know how to find that right now. My camera will be on. So start to scan through your body. And without judgment, just notice, without trying to change anything in your body, just begin to see if you can be aware of your body, noticing gently, softly without judgment, scanning down and see if you can feel all the way down to the bottoms of your feet. If you can feel your feet maybe resting on the ground. Maybe they, maybe they're curled under you. No need to change how you're sitting unless you feel drawn to just noticing your feet. And take a couple deep breaths. And as you breathe, your body relaxes. And as your body relaxes, attention moves inward. And as you breathe, your body relaxes. And as your body relaxes, attention moves even deeper. And Go ahead and bring your awareness back up to the top of your head, to your crown. See if you can notice your crown softening. Deep relaxation beginning to spread across your crown, kind of beginning to flow down the sides of your head, relaxing the sides of your head and the back of your head all tension melting away, the gentle calm coming over your head center, down to where your head connects to your spine, the brainstem relaxing. And in the front, your face begins to soften and relax, your forehead, 
feel your eyes relaxing and your cheeks, your ears, your nose and your mouth. Let your, let your jaw soften and relax, letting go in the joints of your jaw, your chin and all the little muscles around your mouth relax. Coming back to your eyes, let your eyes soften even more, feeling your eyebrows relax. And find the center of your forehead, it's very special space in between your eyes, like a little doorway, like a little channel or pathway that leads you into your brain letting this relaxing quality flow into your brain and beginning to relax your brain through all the pathways, through both hemispheres of your brain and the front and the back, becoming even more relaxed, all the way to the center of your brain, the core, relaxing so deeply. And from here we begin to invite the sacred qualities, the sacred essence of our head center to open, which just means that you start to experience your head and your mind opening, expanding out beyond the physical boundaries of your head. The sacred essence of the head center is a spacious field, like the sky, open and empty, peaceful and quiet. The essence of our mind and its rawness is emptiness. It doesn't matter if there are thoughts like the clouds floating in and by. That's not the, the foundation of what our mind is. Thought is not what our mind is. Our mind in its essence is an open spaciousness where everything arises, everything emerges, visions come and go, thoughts come and go. It doesn't matter if you're having thoughts when you know the essence of your mind. If you can begin to taste that open, spacious field of attention and awareness that extends out boundlessly on all sides beyond the physical, limits of your mind, of your head. This is the essence of the head center. From here, we experience these nuanced qualities, joy and bliss, and trust and divine knowing. The foundation of it, its center, the essence of the center, is spacious, empty wisdom. And with that, we'll begin to move gently now a little deeper in our being, traveling to the next center down. Let your attention drop down to your upper spine down into your chest. You feel your shoulders soften and your arms relax, a softness in your hands and your palms. Feel your chest relax, starting from the collar, melting down. All the way down into your heart, into the physical organ of your heart, but also into your lungs, which are deeply connected to your heart, softening your breath, moving into your circulatory system, flow. And here we have an essential quality of depth, intimacy, fullness, there's a fullness, whereas the head was spacious. Here we feel the fullness of what we are. 
So there's a, a, a movement deep into your heart, to this deep depth, intimate connection to the divine as if it's pulling us into our heart beyond our body. And also at the same time, there's this radiant outward movement of the heart moving out and this central quality of a loving embrace, like a mom with her arms open, the universal mother, nurturing quality. Just this, this natural opening arms, holding and embracing what we see out in the world, including us, including our personal story and our personal experience. There's also a uh, divine value, like our heart center and its essence and its rawness is made of value. Its substance is value. It doesn't have to do with what our story looks like. It doesn't have to do with what we've achieved or not achieved in our life. Our heart is made of value. It's prior to any manifestation, any form. This is the center of beauty. We feel this when we see beauty in the world. There's a beauty to our sadness. It's the beauty of love. We hear a beautiful sad song and love fills our heart. This is the essential quality, the essential nature of our heart center. When we are open to it, it is a quality of full radiance. And taking that in a moment more, we'll begin now to journey deeper into the next center, down into our root. traveling down below your belly button through your digestive system bringing all that deep relaxation down through your belly and your digestion down below your belly button down your spine all the way to the tip of your tailbone into your core here we have our root, which is our power center. It is beyond just the core below our belly button, but all the way down through our root, through our perineum, through the base of our tip, at the tip of our tailbone, with roots extending down through our hips and down our legs, through our feet, the backbone. All of this is our root, our gut center, our power center. This is our portal to divine power. Let your deep relaxing attention settle down in this part of your being, relaxing your gut, relaxing the bottom of your spine, your hips opening and softening, all tension melting away so that you can experience the rawness, the pureness, the innocence of this part of your, your being, this portal to the sacred. There's a lot of intense energy down here. When it is contracted, we call it anger, but its essence, its pure rawness is power. This is a center for innocence, potentiality, integrity. This is where we feel rooted, stable, strong. This is where we experience true confidence. confidence, 
standing on our own. Being able to show up, knowing that we are infinite, and grounded here. It's really um, beyond, so much beyond words. We're so much deeper than that part of our being that will be hard to speak from this place. Stay here at the bottom of your being, and you may take a few moments now of silence, listening to the sound reverberate out, and see if there's a part of a center that wants more of your attention, or maybe you can experience all three centers a little more alive, a little more tuned. I invite you to stay with this process and continue this process beyond this little taste that we had today. We'll end with a few moments of silence. We hope to see you all again. Take care.